Okay, so um, here is essentially what that looks like. I'll zoom in where I just use the foam cutter wand, I guess, if you will, and just cut a trench. And that trench uh, has that switch. And this trench, which runs all the way over, um, has that switch in it. And it comes out the side as well. So just as a quick, um, I guess, show you type of thing. I'm going to quickly just touch this so you can kind of see what it does. And when it's on, <laughs> let it heat up real quick. But then essentially um, what you're doing is you're just taking this wand and you just go right along the edge here. Um, now I'm holding the phone with my left hand and letting this heat up in my right so I don't have a straight edge right now. But you get the idea. So essentially what you do is you just lay it on there and follow the line. Excuse me. I wouldn't advise that you just breathe in all the smoke, but uh, all you're really doing is just cutting a trench with this wand. And you don't want to go too fast. Just let the heat do its thing. Did you kind of see? Whoops. Let's see what that looks like. And you just come across like so. Okay. And when it comes up here, excuse me, when it comes up here, be very, very careful not to touch the track, and then just kind of come right here. And again, go back through the hole one more time just to make sure you've got a sufficient enough gap. And that's it. Okay. Um, I go this route instead of using power tools with cutters and stuff because I hate the foam that breaks off of this stuff and makes a mess everywhere. So a um, little bit of an aroma problem for a short period of time, but essentially that's the way that works. Then you can just take this guy and all you're really doing at that point is just shoving them right down into the foam. Okay, and then that essentially has that. And again, wire's not sticking up. And it'll be ground cover and stuff over top of this later. So I uh, just wanted to show you the little how-to on that real quick and uh, again, catch you later.